Hey y'all, what's up, my beautiful peeps? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Gift of Sense 92, giving you guys the latest and exclusive content on new music, entertainment news, and inspirational quotes by me. Queen's back. All right, so your girl is going to give you guys my honest thoughts and opinions. It's that time. Okay, shall we proceed as Team Ilya fans? Because look, we're gonna know the truth, period. I'm here for it. And you know, anybody that watches this video is out of love, is out of support. Um, and you know, the fans, her family deserves justice, she deserves justice, not just her. Um, everyone that unfortunately had to go on that fateful day we know the date but what i'm saying is that i personally had a jeepers creepers moment because years ago we already know that when that day happened august 25th 2001 um i believe i was around six or seven years old the headlines on bet um you know, Alia and, you know, passes away in the plane. Everybody else, they have names as well. I have to put that link down below. And now, when I meet everybody else, they're all neck and neck because I can't think of their names right now. But go check out my last video. Um, I believe it was Get the Sense 92 Alia. Just put Get the Sense 92 Alia. Like, we're going to deserve the truth or whatever. But... I often have said we're gonna know and brace yourselves because um the music industry is really really E V I L. Okay. So we already know that the information that was provided for us years ago, how it happened, how it went down. But things haven't added up even since this day. Now people are Pretty much getting more information about what you know had happened. There are people from the connections in the music industry. I'm not going to name any names, period, because like I said, it's a respect thing and I go by the code. Okay. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now, you know, as I leave fan myself, you know, it's like this. Yeah. Is about damn time, and we're just gonna have to, you know, pretty much know what happened, how it happened, where it happened. Because I have to be honest, this is a murder case. This is a murder case, and this is a solve an unsolved mystery. The reason why a lot of fans are we know it is because people have different opinions. Fine, y'all have the red carpet, but we know it's a murder because it's like. First off, foremost, a small plane, this small, with nine people on there. I believe it was nine people on there. You know that famous photo when you can Google it, everybody putting up two peace signs like this, and then on the boat, they're going to board the plane, right? So those beautiful souls, those beautiful people had no idea this was it. And what I'm saying is that I feel like people want to know the truth and they're seeking justice for all of the families and all the families deserve justice and i pretty much feel like there was some spiritual witchcraft that was going on and there was some you know entities that were aware about you know even like okay i get the jeepers creepers when about the plane being small Right. And then there was a plane sent from another musician that he had a private jet to even let them, the, the people that their lives were tragically gone too soon. He was going to lend them, borrow a plane, a private jet. All right, cool. But then for some reason, got taken away. Right. So what I'm saying is that, you know, I kind of really, like I said, I'm very nervous. I'm excited. Um, and, you know, I, for me, you know, it's hard for me to get emotional because I want to actually cry. I can't cry for some reason. I feel it 
you know, in my flesh. I feel it in my bones and my soul. I feel it because it's like I live pretty much everyone that's everybody neck neck. It's like everybody did not deserve to go and they didn't. And we'll just say for, like I said, they all had their careers. You know, they were photographers. They were like makeup artists. Uh, they were, um, what else? They were, um, I believe, security guards, bodyguards. So everybody had an occupation, right? So it's like this. You know, we definitely are going to know what's going to happen. And, you know, I'm very, you know, very enlightened because, you know, it's really sad that they all had to go. And then for Aaliyah, for her to have a 70 year music career span, soaring the heights of the heights, you know, and people have tried to diminish her legacy, what she worked hard for. People have tried to, you know, attach her name to, you know, who. At net, which I feel like that also was the cause of like the it was the cause of her getting herself out there but it was a very very traumatic and scary time of her life that she's not going to ever talk about which is really sad and which is really heartbreaking because you know we know about you know who so we're just going to have to keep it pushing keep it a buck period but she has really been solidified as the well-established artist by herself, period. And I feel like I said, you know, we know about how the entities and the music industry circle. I feel that this was calculated. This had to be some sort of like witchcraft, voodoo, you know, some kind of like bad aura, right? So I feel that even as a fan i'm waiting i'm very very patient and i have to be honest y'all i have been pretty much like i said been just doing me and i know you guys deserve you know more content you guys deserve more of me and really as you know part of team i live you know i'm just really excited um i'm, I'm very nervous and when we find out the truth i tell you what you know they always say what goes on into the dark will come to the light. And I feel that by this time and beyond, like I said, her family, her estate, they need to take it on all the way up a notch throughout all the years. Because I have to be honest, I feel like Aaliyah pretty much would have still been successful. Um, it's really crazy how she would have been, what, 44 years old? And 44 years old, that's young, you know, and the way how she had to go, 22, that's young. And it's really sad because, you know, she didn't, I mean, she has really been a force in music. She's the blueprint. Like, she really has paved the way for a lot of musicians. And I think that, you know, what's really scary because I get Jeepers Creepers, I kind of feel like people in that music industry didn't want that chick to really do her thing, you know? Like, and out of respect, like, everybody had a lane in music. She inspired, you know, her peers. You know, her peers were very, you know, admirable of her. And I don't make her out to be like, oh, like, she's, like, above people. No, she's a human being like everybody else. She really, she just had that enigma, that swag. She had her own thing. And then she inspired female musicians to have their own thing. We all get inspired by somebody. But... You only can be you, right? So it's right. It's really that time, guys. It's that time that we're going to know what happened, period. We're going to know. And I'm just really, like I said, I, I, I don't want to sound repetitive, but this is what I say, especially circumstances like this, where people, they have speculations and it, it was always the same story. The same story. Okay, but then fans have wondered, was there more to it? You know, because I watch stuff sometimes, you know, on TV, and I started to really think. I said, hmm, interesting. I said, everybody that perished on that day, the same white people in the music industry just want to sweep it under the rug. That's why. That's what happened. People in the music industry knew what had happened. 
They knew what was going down. And, you know, like I said, everything that really happened, it just was like, I just can remember like it was yesterday. And it's, this gives me like my scary moments because I have nightmares. Yeah, I have nightmares sometimes. So something be telling me, yo, you know, sis, you know, your your uh energy is telling you something and sometimes i was listening to how people were saying behind the scenes you know um how she was really down to earth she was sweet she was nice she didn't have like this like attitude she didn't i mean she she didn't have this entitlement she really she just lived you know she wanted to do more she had that in her and her fans, you know, the fans, you know, I like I said, I've never met the woman, but shout out to the beautiful Alia fans that when she, you know, came out in her music career, that when they did get to meet her, when they did get to interact with her, it's always been the same story. Oh, she was nice. She was down to earth. She was bubbly. That sense of humor, that spark, that light. And, you know, for her, unfortunately, in the music world, that she's no longer with us no longer with in the music world i often have said well this this mystery is going to get real real juicy and it's going to be the tea is going to get spilled you know pretty much it's going to get like yo it's going to get like Exactly. Because that's just how it's going to happen. And, you know, for me, it's it's like everybody deserves justice, period. I'm sick and tired of people. You know, I know I'm a little bit of a sensitive person. I may not show it, but that little something in me that you're sparking inside to say, this has to get done, period. This has to get taken care of, period. And what I didn't like, I did not like. This is what I don't like as a fan. And like I said, Aaliyah fans, you know, Team Aaliyah, you have your opinions. Do y'all. I love y'all. You know, whether we agree or disagree. This is how I'm coming from because I can only speak for myself. I can't speak for the rest of y'all. But I just feel like it's really, it makes me angry that, you know, I even will watch this woman's music videos. I listen to her music. And I said, these daggone ugly mofos, these ugly folk that for whatever reason, the people with her, like people that she's cool, everybody neck. Now I'm like, for them to just go like that, for them to just go like they they just had to like go, oh, that's it. And really, they're, they're people like the circles, certain circles in the music industry and certain like people, um, you know, the forces, the powers that be is like. They knew what was going on. There's a whole lot of people, I guarantee you, they had to stay quiet. But unfortunately, I'm like, why stay quiet when you can speak up a little bit more? Why stay quiet? But I understand it's a small pond in that music industry. And me personally, guys, don't get it twisted. I've never been in the music industry. Okay. I don't have no connections, period. I don't, I'm just saying, I'm just a fan of I Live, right? But and when I listen to like my team, Alia, you know, crew, you know, like when they talk about, you know, have their own thoughts and opinions about what was going on, how it happened, you know, and 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 they feel like, yo, this needs to happen. We gonna have to get the answers. And I feel like as much as people, you know, like I said, um, this pretty much was like a, you know, homicide. You know, this was a homicide. It was calculated. Um, and, um, you know, for those who don't believe it, fine. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm not going to bite your head off. That's cool. Um, but I feel like all the things that have happened that led up to that fateful day. And I'm like, you know, we would have really got a different story, you know, because really, you know, um, this was before August 25th. We already know Ali was shooting the Rock the Boat song in the Bahamas. 
Aaliyah was shooting the Rock the Boat song in the Bahamas. I personally have seen, you know, on DVD, I have a music. Um, I have an album, the I Care For You album, and I watch sometimes the behind the scenes of documentary. And I'm like, they having fun and stuff, shooting the video. It was serious and stuff. And then, like, I really, I was so happy. I was excited to watch the behind the scenes footage of, like, her, you know, doing her thing, slaying her makeup artist, everybody chilling, having fun at the Bahamas, you know, get together, wrapping the video up, in the process of creating something like that, and then music. And also, like, the people behind the scenes, so as I be watching it sometimes, the back of my hair stand up in my neck. I get goosebumps because it's like, yeah, they had no idea they was going to be it. That's it. They had no idea that, you know, having fun next to, you know, they bought the plane and it was it, right? And I think that um, even, you know, watching her interviews, seeing how she just was such a breath of fresh air and music um and how like i said you know i definitely was very sad how it just said it just it's just not fair guys it ain't fair you know because what it's like she deserved to still have her music career she deserved it you know, everybody deserved to still have their careers, to still have their lives. They deserved it. It it really was some really low key hating people in the circle. Whoever it was, I don't know. And I feel like it was also sabotage. And I feel like there was manipulation. And also, I also picked up on something too. I picked up on something as well. Um, I um even like um people such as, you know, out of respect, you know, because Missy Elliott, Timbaland, Static Major, Damon Dash, um, Fatima, um, who else? Oh my God. I know this, I know this chick's name because that Aaliyah had her like homegirl. I know her name, but I can't think of it. Um Quincy Jones is daughter i know her name i can't think of her name but that's fine but it's not fine but you know those genie wine magoo those people that had connections with ali in some sort of way whether it's music or her personal life brother rashad you know diane um her father um so i kind of feel like you know every time when we get new information about anything whether it's her music um where are we gonna get new business deals or where we're gonna get new ventures or, or stuff like that so when you got people that you know they want to hide the truth sweep it under the rug that's why we're gonna kick ass period that's what we're here for mm -hmm. Exactly. Because when you got people, and this also sparks my ambition, you know, my fire, because I always have loved it to do like commentary on things, you know, express myself, have my own opinions. And I kind of feel like with this, like with this um situation about, you know, solving the case, solving the case on that fateful day, that Team Alia, we will get the truth. I mean, it's in the process. You know, we're getting more bits and bits and bits and pieces. But also, we're going to get more of like that, okay? Once we start to get A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all of that. And then once we get the truth, that's it, period. And I just, you know, like I said, you know, I, I, I feel... It's sentimental, you know, and it makes you want to cry. It makes me want to cry, you know, and um, a lot of times we don't really know, like I say, even like, you know, her family and even everyone else's families, they deserve justice because this was something, this was some evil, it was some predatory stuff. There was a lot of that stuff. So 
I really am very, very, um, you know, happy. Um, and at the same time, I'm very, um, we, we're going to know. So all I want to say is, you know, how dare, how dare people try to really ruin everyone's lives and then we won't get the truth. And how dare the people that, you know, try to them, you know, try to destroy um, Ali's legacy. How dare they? So, like I said, I don't care. I say what I have to say, and that's it, period. And I want Team Aaliyah, you know, share your thoughts and your opinions because we're going to solve the mystery, period. Let's solve it together, and let's have this conversation. I'm very, very looking forward to people's, you know, open, honest opinions and thoughts and discussions. So, please feel free to be yourselves. And with that being said, guys, um, Team Aaliyah, um, I love y'all, so we're going to know the truth, period. So share your thoughts and your opinions. Stay tuned in the next episode of Gift Since 92. Like, share, comment, subscribe down below. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification button. And as always, stay tuned in the next episode of Gift Since 92, Dragon Ball Z, Mary Reference. Peace. Bye. Your girl's asking out. Super Saiyan's out.